guys in this video i'm gonna show you a tutorial on how to install Simu. and this is my third tutorial of the row the first two are already out and thanks for the almost 100,000 views on the second one so i'm gonna show you an updated way on how to install Simu with server provided i might drop a video in a later or something next week about how to install Tears of the Kingdom for another emulator, so be patient for that. So first off, you want to head over to simu.info and download the latest version. Just click on the link, you will go to GitHub, simu 2.2, click on download. You have this then, just click on Windows XX64, it's gonna be 25 megabytes, install that. It gives you a folder. Just gotta wait a bit. I will take more PC. In the meantime, you could already go away. Make another folder for uh, like Simu, for all the files that go into the Simu folder. So just make it a folder and call it like Simu. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it Simu2 because I already have a Simu folder. Once you have that, and the file is downloaded, you can just well, you can just go here to download where you're gonna have Simu 2.2. Just double click it and drag that folder into the Simu 2 folder. So you copy. Once that is done, which should take a while, a bit, not that much, but a bit as it's a lot of files you will want to head into the second link in the description once this is done you can head over to this you can close this or close this and just go to the second link and you download the latest current version of simu hook which you will also need so just download that i already have that so it's there's a one here well it has not been updated since the latest version, so that's key. It will take a bit again. I know my mom's PC is at 100 KB per second. That's really slow. But what you want to do then, I can already... Oh my god. I just go in here. Just go in here and you will want to paste all the files in here or like I'm going to show you. Like is done which is uh, pretty soon you will want to look like another folder of explorer head over to download go over to see the hook take all these files you don't need that one but i'm just gonna drag all the files into this it's really important once that is done you will want to head over to the third link, which is the USB helper. You can check if there's a new version. Nope, you can just go for version 1.2. Click on the, this link, and that will install. It's gonna look on here. Let's get it here. It's not really a big file, so don't worry. So let's find it real quick. And let's actually kind of shut this down. Don't do that in there too. Uh, once you have that downloaded, you're just gonna look for it. Where is it? Where is it? Where? No way. Oh wait, where did I put it? Uh, okay, uh, I could just go in the browser. Then double click that. And you will get to the installation. You're gonna press click next. License agreement, just agree. You wanna read it, so just do this. Actually, you need to scroll through it. It's gonna take a bit. I cannot press next, okay. Apparently it worked. So in here, just if you're not disconnected, you can go up, but I'm gonna leave it as it is. Then there's the install location. 
yes, my recommendation, make a new folder called C new games and then have it in a game too because I already have that. Oops, then go to here, browse, to desktop, nope, desktop, uh, C new three and then C new games too. Then click on install. This is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna pause it and be right back once that is installed. Okay, I am back, and as you can see, the view you see also is installed, so let's run it. It will take a bit again, so keep it as it is. It will open a command prompt, I don't know why, but it is based. The PC is kind of slow, so it will just open real quick, but it will say made by fail dev and some error bar for me but all right hmm but once that is installed there uh, will be a windows security integrated network because you need to download stuff so just click yes if you get that and then we'll get this window that says injecting <laughs> it will take a while and it will disappear And you can always see what's going on here, which I find very neat. Like send an info and stuff like that. Injecting. It will take a bit depending on your PC strength. So just let it load. As you can see, it is doing stuff. It just and then this window will open once that is done. Here, it's important. It depends on where you live. You got to click on this bar to review for everything and then click on the region you live. I live in Europe, in Germany to be exact, so I gotta click Europe. If you live in anywhere else, just click on the other location. Mm -hmm. So just click Europe and this is a disclaimer. Just click OK. And it will now send over to your region to that information. And now you need to con select a location to store your games. This is unpacked games, by the way. It's gonna be important for later. So just go here, go to see games. I would recommend going here actually and make a new folder called CMO Hack Games. It's gonna be really important for later. So go here. We are gonna go to our CMO2, CMO2 and move pack games and select it then it's asking for the key important from the last video a lot of people made a mistake you are not going to click anything on here you're just going to select the url copy it and paste it in google it's really important and then click on ok it's just the key's website you don't need to do anything don't click on anything on the website i am not doing anything just click copy the website URL and paste it into there and then it will load stuff I don't know if that's gonna take a while apparently not so just let it load it's gonna take a bit and once it's done it's gonna ask you for another allow apparently that window won't go away and there it is it's gonna play music I just need that on the bottom left uh, bottom top left that's new and this tutorial is for the edge of developer of the world but you can basically install anything you want so in here you're gonna say type the legend of Zelda and then you can just look for breath of the wild here breath of the wild this is the edge of developer of the wild as you can see and now it's important you right click that and click on download games not anything else download mm -hmm. games and it's gonna ask if you want to install the update too click on yes and the dlc if you want the dlc to install that if you don't click no the update is really important otherwise you can't play and once you have all these three things in there click on start downloading which will now download it is gonna take a while since it's 10 gigabytes so i am gonna cut this and I will see you all after The Legend of Zelda is done downloading all three things. So see you.
Okay, it's been a while, so now the update is ready and I got everything it does. So what you now want to do, it's an important step, you want to right click on this and click on unpack CMU. This is important, or you can play it again. Click on unpack CMU. There was a mistake by a lot of people that to do. They did not click this button and went straight to the comment and complained about the video. So click on unpack CMU. You want to have to choose a folder. I would go here again and make another folder called new folder called cmu unpack game 2 which are going to be your final game set double click this and click select folder and select what you would like to unpack it again update this is the newest update if you want the DLC or not, you can. I would check everything here, but if you don't want the DLC, you can uncheck that. Always have the update check because you need updates or the game won't work. Click on OK. And this will take another 30 minutes for me or even more. So we will see us after that. So I'm back. So once this is all done, you can go to your folder. Oh, wait, wrong folder. And go to Simu 2. Open up the folder, go to Simu 2.2, go to Simu Unpack Games 2, and you have the base game and the DLC. I would make a like little thing you can recognize and organize stuff. So I would make a new folder called Zelda Breath of the Wild and put the base game, oh, put both base games and update into that folder. So you have that here. Yeah, it's recording a bit. I think my my file explorer just crashed. Oh no, hell no. Need to be closer. Yes. That sucks. Yeah, it does. Okay, I'm back. So what you now wanna do is open Simu 2.2. Wait for it to load. Go to Simu. Double click it. And wait for Simu to open which will take a bit it will maybe give you this warning but I can trust you it's simu.x so if you download it from the official site it's safe I'm gonna do the same thing now it's also one request from the viewers that said it's a virus no it is not I cannot tell you why it's giving you that warning but it's not so this is the game pass it will locate you all the games and update the DLCs is and I would put that click on browse I would make that that unpack folder so go to desktop simu2 simu2 and then an unpack game and there's graphics packs you want to download them it's basically I can explain what it is it is a mod for a game so you can like play Breath of the Wild in 4k and see even other things it's it's not much to install as you can see on my copy of this but it's generously crazy mod you can test on Breath of the Wild which I'm going to show you soon so what you want to do now is wait for this to extract and it's just taking a bit but it should be done and here you can see all the mods there is and as you can see here there's cheats mods and workarounds graphics will come to that a bit later so what you want to do here is start game with full screen it's cute and automatically check for inputs and here is the other most important thing this is uh, the profile for your controller if you have a switch controller you can register it here my switch controller is empty right now so you can play on which you won't be here just like type anything you want and save it as a profile if you want to have an emulated controller as the pro controller for wii u api to x input and your controller will sh pull up right here and then you click on add and then you can do all the buttons that, uh, that you have to press so i have my controller for it now so i can show you that if you need any more help you can research a youtube tutorial for that then click on close and once you hit that after a bit Simo should open right here we have basically 
installed all the updates it didn't choose already which we already which we took a gay path there which already installed all the up versions and dlc it's important if there's no 208 or 80 here any numbers you gotta go and file install game title update or dlc go into the update and dlc path like then you just if you want to press uh, install the update click on update meta and normally there should be a meta file here i don't know i think it's already taken so I, it's not there but if you did it like me you should not have any problems after that like i told you just the other thing let me just here edit graphic pack this is the most important part there's sheets like 999 max gun infinite ammo durability infinite stamina everything there is and then there's mods where you have like fps plus plus i think it is sorry not need like in here you can set the fps limit like i would go on normal settings and if you have a 140 somewhere you take this if you're not 144. an important factor of this though is sometimes in boss cutscenes the game crashed before you go into a boss i would recommend putting it at the default again but you can play the rest of the game in 144p then there's this one i don't know what this does it's like too you can test what's better also it's weather mods and xbox controller and everything there is so that's great and then there's graphics which is the favorite you can in you can play in 4k 8k everything you want which is nice and even in a different aspect ratio so that's crazy that's about it once you've done all that you can just start the game it'll take a bit here your PC friend let's see if it works let's check it I'm not very sure if it works but we are here to test it so anyways once you have that you should press A don't really have a right now so i can't test for it but it should work so this is how you can install the mod and everything with it so if you enjoyed this video i would really love a like and a comment and we'll see you in the next one